Okay folks, today we're going to test this awesome 1965 Chevrolet full-size AM FM radio. The model number on this guy is 986101 as you can see on the factory tag there. And this was an option on 1965 all the full-size passenger car vehicles. So Impala, Impala SS, Caprice, Biscayne, and probably some other ones I'm forgetting, maybe wagon. Anyway, uh, really cool, awesome, unique curved face on these guys uh, to contour to the dash. And this particular one is an awesome example. This must have come out of a car pretty darn early in life. Um, there's no corrosion, no funkiness. It still has the original uh, transistor dated the second week of uh, 1965 has the power out for the uh, reverb here or the multiplex I think actually and this radio is also also multiplex compatible so this little plug on the bottom here is removable if you remove that plug and you plug in what they call a multiplex adapter it will turn this radio into a four channel stereo radio which is a pretty cool feature I plan to list one of those in my eBay store here shortly um, the Radio is complete with the inner and outer knobs, as you can see, in really nice shape, and the face is in amazing condition. Both the AM and FM indicators are still there. Those are commonly missing. The uh, dial fully flips from AM to FM. Needle is still bright. The chrome is awesome. Push buttons are nice. Just a nice, nice unit. So we're going to test it today. We have it hooked up to a 12-volt power supply, the correct 8-ohm speaker, and an antenna. And uh, before we get started, I want to tell you that where I live here is a valley, and we're also in a steel building. So we get pretty weak AM reception for the first half of the dial, first off. And the steel building gives us a pretty, uh, a pretty gnarly kind of buzz to the radio. And that's just interference from the building static electricity and the electricity going through the building. Anyway, uh, keep that in mind. The AM is going to work great when you have it installed in a vehicle and you're not in a valley inside a steel building, but that's what we're dealing with right now. FM does not get affected by that, so no worries on that. Okay, here we go. They're very superficial. And the other... ...run the radio. I don't feel joyous again. It's my... This one actually has really good reception for where we're at. Full of vitamins and minerals and... Anyhow, there's AM. And we'll switch over to FM here. You can see the dial face flip over. Lots of stations. Really good sound quality. You'll see there's no uh, crackling or anything when you adjust the volume. Related. Anyway, awesome reception all the way through the dial. I'll show you the push buttons work here. If I didn't even try them before we started, give me one second. I'm still here with you. So I'll have to go in and uh, verify that the push buttons work. I don't want to push them too hard without lubricating them first. So I'll I'll verify that they do work. Oh, we're out of re out of focus there. There we go. Yeah, so these, uh, you can see when I push in, it tries to move it, but I don't want to push too hard without going in there and relieving it first. Anyway, very nice radio. I'm sure that the push buttons will work. Very nice unit. Don't miss it. 